Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video, based on the request you guys keep asking, I'm gonna show you guys how to install in the Mac OS on your MacBook Pro uh, model, uh, laptops. This one is a model A1278. This one is a 13 inch, was released, introduced on 2010 and this continued on 2011. This is a dual core MacBook Pro, but this method applies for any MacBook Pro. If you have upgraded the hard drive to a solid state drive, uh, I covered a video on how to replace your mechanical drive with a solid state drive. And I explained how to install it, but people keep asking me, can you show us a little bit? So I'm going to keep this video really short, just to the point how you can start downloading, because I'm not going to sit down watching the download, because my internet connection is not that good. But pretty much. Let's say you have the new hard drive here, or you want to format the hard drive, install the OS new from here. You need power cord, make sure you have power to the laptop. All you need to do is to hold down the command and R key and press and release the power button after two seconds. And keep holding the command and R key. And right here, the screen is going to go on white. You only still keep holding it until you see a little globe coming up and it says recovering mode that's when you want to release so i'm just going to keep holding it the reflection on this one it's i don't think you guys can see it but as soon as the logo comes hopefully you guys get to see something they make it really glossy so the light there you go we got a logo it says I'm going to let go. It's starting internet recovery. This may take a while. So let me see if you guys can see that. There's the logo right there. Once you get the logo, it says it's starting internet recovery. Then you can release the command and R and just wait a while. And it's going to give you choose your network. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm going to click choose my network. Uh, put the password for the network 28003557 And click OK Once you have the network connection in there and now you have to wait and it start connect it will connect to a uh, Servers it might take a few minutes. Just be patient. It's not gonna freeze. You just wait for it So I probably have to fast forward this part Let me see if I cut the light on the top right there so let's keep it in this position so i'm going to fast forward this part All right, now it's gonna do first restart. And the steps are should be really simple. So it's gonna keep doing some restart installing and it might take you to a menu. Just take your time, be patient. All right, now it's going to take you to the Mac OS utility. And right from here, you want to click on reinstall OS. Just click on, re click on reinstall, click continue. Uh, it's going to automatically detect the best suitable OS for this laptop. And it's going to choose you where to install. And it says Mac OS High uh, Sierra. Click continue. It's going to bring it term and condition. Click I agree. I agree. And click install. Again, it says here select the disk where you want to install it to. But it doesn't show anything here. So pretty much I do have to probably go back. Let me see, I'm gonna give it a little time. Maybe I have to go back. 
It's agree. So if the disk doesn't show up in there, go on the Apple and go to edit, quit install, just quit the installation. And you want to go to the disk utility. If the disk doesn't show up, go to disk utility, click continue. And uh, let's see if the disk shows up in here because we put a 256 gig and there is a hard drive, the internal hard drive that we put. So we need to format this one, click erase on the top and click erase. Uh, it is going to erase it right now. So that's why the reason it wasn't showing up. So if it doesn't show up, come back to here, erase the hard drive and then close this one up and go back to reinstall OS and now it should show up the hard drive on the last step that we were in there. So again, click continue and wait for the terms. So click I agree, again I agree. And now you see the hard drive actually shows up in here. Click on the hard drive and click install. So now what it's gonna do is gonna download the whole uh, image from internet is going to take about like a half an hour probably two hours for me instead of about 15 minutes so once it's downloads it's automatically going to install and do a one or two eyes restart and it should go back to the uh, state that you purchased your laptop uh, with the all welcome screen and the keyboard language and other options and that's how you upgrade your ssd drive and install the new os system I'll probably gonna win, turn off the video and record it once the whole installation is finished. And it keeps going 48 minutes, so let's see what happens. I'll be back once the whole installation is finished. All right, it did few restarts and it took a while installing it, so be patient, take your time, go grab a coffee, and it will do few restarts. And it will stay like a, or about like a one millimeter there for about 10 to 15 minutes. So don't think that it's frozen or anything like that. Just be patient, take your time and don't touch it. And it will do a few restart and it will take you to a welcome screen. So right now I see the mouse is moving around. So let's see what option is going to show up. So welcome. That's how you get how you when you buy your first MacBook Pro. This is the welcome screen that you will get. You get to choose the country, the region, and everything else. In here, you're just gonna click next. I choose Spanish, I guess. Keyboard layout that you want, whatever language, whatever you need, Arabic, Spanish, keyboard, whatever keyboard that you need. Uh, you want to click continue and once you finish the whole system you want to be in a desktop within five minutes or less and then you can do updates and installing your programs and everything else and it's going to be much faster than mechanical hard drive i hope this video helped you guys out and if it did you know what to do click the like button and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment and I always try to answer them. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.